The 2013 Aston Martin Vantage The history of the Aston Martin Vantage began back in 2005 with the unveiling of the V8 version. Then in 2009, the model expanded with the addition of a V12 version. After a series of technological updates received in 2008, the model has now been revised once again. The updated Vantage will be displayed this year at the Geneva Motor Show next to the recently announced Zagato version. Most changes have been made to the V8 version, while the V12 model continues unchanged. For the V8 model Aston Martin has replaced the optional 6-speed SportShift automated manual transmission with a new 7-speed SportShift 1. Also, a series of updates have been made to the car's chassis and a new braking system has also been added. As for the exterior and the interior updates, most changes have been inspired by the Vantage S and N400 limited edition and make the car looking more aerodynamic and sportier. Update the 11th of April 2012, Aston Martin has announced the US prices for the new V8 Vantage model. The coupe version will be priced at $118,370 while the Roadster version goes up to $132,870. We are still waiting to see how much we will have to pay for the V12 version. Hit the jump to read more about the new Aston Martin Vantage. The exterior and the interior. The exterior changes for the V8 Vantage have been inspired by the Vantage S and N400 Limited Edition and includes a new lower bumper with an aerodynamic splitter that includes larger air intake for a better cooling of the engine and front brakes. The rear has received a new diffuser and sculpted race-derived side sills. The S version will be distinguished by carbon fiber elements and a motorsport-derived aerodynamic package. On the interior everything is wrapped in traditional hand-stitched leather upholstery with striking modern design and S badges to further identify the model. Also, the S version will be offered with a new satellite navigation system developed in conjunction with Garmin and of course Bluetooth and cruise control. The engine. The base version is powered by a 4.7-liter V8 engine that delivers a total of 420 HP, while for the S version output has been increased to 430 HP at 7,300 revolutions per minute and 361 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 revolutions per minute. The base version will be offered with a standard 6-speed manual transmission or an optional 7-speed SportShift 2, replacing the old 6-speed SportShift automated manual transmission. In the S version only the 7-speed SportShift 2 gearbox is available. This new transmission features an additional gear, closer ratios, lower final drive and a quicker, refined shift quality. It also provides faster and more precise shifts, optimizes acceleration and delivers a sporting driving experience. The V8 version also received a few updates to the chassis. These changes include, a new steering column installation, revalved power steering pump and a quicker ratio of 15 to 1 compared to 17 to 1 on the previous model. Aston Martin is also offering a new braking system that features new 380mm two-piece ventilated cast iron front discs and six piston calipers, but also includes Hill Start Assist HSA for more precise control on steep inclines. As for the V12 version, it remains unchanged, under the hood there is a 6.0 liter V12 engine producing 510 HP, and 420 pound-feet of torque. This amount of power is just enough to sprint the car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds and up to a top speed of 190 miles per hour. Pricing in Germany, prices for the base version start at €108,500 at the current exchange rates, while the S version will go on sale at €128,500 On the US market, the V8 Vantage is priced at $118,370 for the coupe version, while Roadster version goes up to $132,870. The competition if you want to look for a competitor for the new Aston Martin Vantage you don't have to look very far. In fact, just earlier, Maserati announced the new Gran Turismo Sport, a model powered by a 4.7-liter V8 engine with 460 HP under the hood. And this seems like too much for you when you should also take a look at the Audi R8 version, in both V8 or V10 versions. 
In its standard version, the R8 delivers a total of 424 HP, but this year Audi will bring an updated version that promises a total of 444 HP. And if you want more there is also the GT version with its 560 HP under the hood. Love it new transmission improved look better equipped. Leave it you can find more powerful competitors out there no changes for the V12 version. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.